fix is pretty much I mean it could keep going but it's not really any point skill use is free that's pretty cool so if all these are maxed out the skill use for that is 100% free uh, so etiquette this guy um Everdition. Everdition, that's this guy. Reduce cost by three. Ooh, manipulation. Do we have a book for manipulation? No. No books for manipulation, but it only needs one more, so I should technically be able to level it up, maybe. Unless if I didn't get enough XP. Uh politics. Linguistics again. Diversion. What's this one? Erudition. We could do diversion, because that seems to be pretty common. Diversion, subterfuges. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So, this diversion and. Mm, well, with all these, yeah. Take that. Okay. All right. Yeah, I guess I guess we didn't level up then, unfortunately. That's all right though. So we're at the crypt entrance, January second, seventeen ninety three. Episode three ripples. Don't move. Wait, I don't... So you've come at last. Easy. Let I don't me that just turn around. Oh my god, mother, what has happened to you? Who are you? What? But, mother... Who are you? It's me, Louis, your son. No, you lie. You won't catch me out like that. Louis... Louis isn't here. He obeys his mother. He would never have come here. Mother, I don't know what you've been through, but lower your arm, please. You think I was born yesterday, do you? But it won't work. I'm begging you. One day you will fall. Mother! Why are you here? Uh, why is it all of a sudden we have, what is this? Focus? Discon... Disconcentrate? Disconcerted. If we do two, would that remove it? Okay, good. Uh, focused free use. Or of the book of quest of from the book. Yeah, let's Remember do that. Alazif, I was sure. Where's the book, mother? Oh no. So that's what Occultism. you want. Well, you will never find it. Emily died for that. What's got uh, into her? You are. What's this one now? Exhausted, one unusable effort point. Evil incarnate. Every word that comes out of your mouth is sharper than a razor blade. I don't wish you any harm. Really, the lighting mother, in this area is very me, off. Louis. Don't speak to me about him. You will never get mother, him. Mother, stop torturing yourself. It really is me, Louis. How can I convince you? If you really are who you uh, let me check the journal. Do we have anything on her? William. What's her name? Uh, right here. Occultism is her immunity. Say you are. What was the saying I taught you? That's all we have You've so far, though. You've been telling it to me since I was three years old, Mother. How could I ever forget it? Always keep your mind rational. Conviction and open. And open. You knew it. You are smart. 
You're getting me muddled up. Tell me, rather, whose place were we at when I told you I was coming here? Mother, I really am your son. You can't trick me. We were in Paris. We were investigating an art dealer. His name? Ah, oh, shoot. Bon. Oh my gosh. Uh, journal. 34 years ago, took over the golden. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Since then, she's prepared her son Louis to become a new face of the golden order. Do we have anything on ourselves? I don't remember the guy's name. Von Bolcher? I think he was called Von Botcher. You think so? Wrong. Oh, God. Louis would never have gotten it wrong. No, 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 wait, wait. It, it's just a detail. He lived in Paris, near the Notre Dame Cathedral. We investigated him for three months. He made a fortune by taking advantage of gullible collectors of Parisian high society. You're a good actor. He was an ancient art dealer. He had the book, Alazif. And that's what you wanted to get out of me, wasn't it? Not at all. We unmasked him, but then he came after us. We escaped, but you didn't want me to intervene. I listened to you, and we knocked him out. What? Uh, how? You can't know about that. L Louis, no, I, is, it, is it really you? No, no, no. Oh my gosh, she's it's insane. It's not true. It's a nightmare. Don't tell me that. Have you spoken to him? Oh, shit. She's completely panicked because I spoke to Mortimer. It seems she's afraid of what he might have said to me about her. Did he speak to you? Mother, I don't know what you're imagining, but don't worry. Everything will be all right. If you're worried about what I might think about Elizabeth Adams, honestly... Oh, Louis, Elizabeth is the last of my worries right now. I did what I could for her, but it was too late. Very well. Rational and open, Louis. Since you arrived on the island, has five. anything oh, strange happened to you? Depends on what you mean by strange. Uh, let me see. Do you want to tell me about your relationship? I should have used that from Adams? the beginning. Louis, Ugh, I don't so know dumb. what you found out, but just know that I did everything I could to help her. I'm sure you did, Mother. I'm not judging you. You know, what she had to put up with was slowly gnawing away at her. Now shut up and listen to me. We wow, might success. still have a chance. Oh, look at that. Something of utmost importance is going to play out right here. What are you talking about? A conference, Louis. I should think all Mortimer's guests have arrived by now, haven't they? Yes, they have. Since this morning. Perfect. The conference will be able to begin. Indeed. It shouldn't be long and- Let me finish. We haven't time. Okay. You will attend this conference and you must find out what Mortimer is up to. Don't trust him, Louis. Understood? Louis, I made a mistake by coming here. We are in the lion's den. What do you mean? Mortimer, Holm, their guests. Watch what happens. Do you think it's normal that the representatives of the most powerful nations are here all on their own without anyone else? On an island in the middle of nowhere in total secrecy? No, not really, but- Louis! They shape the world. They manipulate us. Everything is decided here and now. They create and break states, provoke wars, destitute governments, or decide who will be their leaders. Open your eyes! Nothing is impossible for them. They are capable of reaching everyone, wherever they may be. Through high society banquets, they model the future of us all. And it isn't at all an issue for them. And? What do you propose? It's time to act, my son. You will go to this conference and, from the inside, you'll do everything you can to prevent Mortimer's plan from going ahead smoothly. We can talk later. I'll explain everything. But why? Do as I say, Louis. It's of the utmost importance. Beware of Mortimer. He won't let anything stand in his way. You promised me that after- Yes, after. Go now. Yes, mother, I'm going, I'm going. 
One more thing, mother. Emily Hillsborough, Emma's sister, came to this island looking for her sister. She probably won't hesitate to take revenge and... It's the signal that the conference is starting, Louis. Don't be concerned about the Duchess. She's the last of our worries. That's it. We're just going to end our conversation just like that. Attend the conference. I think it was in the, the dining room, if I remember correctly. Through here, I think to the right. Is this it? Oh, maybe not. Nope. But I think this takes us there, yeah, if we just go through the next room and then the, the next one. But there's somebody right there. Monsieur de Richet, you're the only one missing at the conference. Please join the guests. Monsieur de Richet, you're the only one missing at the conference. Please join the guests. All right. Uh, which way am I going? I thought it was in, I thought it was in there. Attend the conference. Is it this way? Mr. Richet, you are expected at the conference. Please oh, take whoops. the door to your left to join the guests. Oh, I didn't even realize. Here we are. Oh, this is a great conclave chamber. Have we been in this room yet? No, definitely haven't. <laughs> it's been closed off each time. Attend the conference. Let's talk to Peru real quick. I just want to see if he has anything to say. I don't know if you ever found what you were looking for in the garden, but Mortimer is waiting for you. I suggest you get a move on. You say it as if you were afraid of him. I sense that you have things you'd like to say, but something's holding you back. What is going on between you two? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Dolly, I say a lie. I followed him to the best of my ability. I championed his ideas, defended his decisions, and then, without even realizing it, I became lost. The siren's song, Monsieur de Richet. You wake up one morning, not knowing where you are, and you think about everything you've done for a man who wasn't even worth it. For a man who has no respect for you, who uses you, and who drops you. As soon as he no longer needs you. Place me, echoes so he can hear every single word now. that he's saying. But you, you still have a choice. Don't respond to his call, sir. Hmm. Alright, let's just chat with him then. Ah, Louis, I've been expecting you. Uh, thank you for joining us. We are about to begin our conference. Let me explain what is at stake. Thank you kindly, but what do you expect of me exactly? My mother's the one who's supposed to attend, not me. That is indeed what was initially intended. Unfortunately, she still hasn't been found, and my guests can't stay here indefinitely. The conference must begin, and it would be truly beneficial to the Order to join in the project. Consequently, I would like you to replace her during her absence. What is at stake here is of the utmost importance. It's important that the French Order gets their say. And should you need any advice, 
Don't worry, you are not alone, Louis. Very well. What's it about? Can you about? give me a brief explanation of the aim of it all? Of course, Louis, I was coming to that. The aim of these meetings is to bring together the most influential people in order to think together about the future. But the future of who? Of the world, Louis. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all, and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. In concrete terms, how do you organize your discussions? The His eyes are extremely glossy the same today. Way. There are All two of are masters of ceremony who determine an important subject. You and Sir Gregory, I presume. Exactly. We shall be the masters of ceremony. It was our obligation to each bring to the table several guests in order to debate a subject. Once the debate is closed, a decision will be made by a vote of all the participants. By a unanimous vote. If the project is not agreed on by all, then it will be rejected. And neither of the two masters of ceremony have the right to vote. It's up to the guests alone to decide, Louis. In other words, us. Gregory and myself are merely the go-betweens. Finally, if the project is validated, each guest goes home. Wait, Gregory? Who's Gregory? Is that home? Sir Gregory home. Okay, yeah. And starts working to make it happen. It can take years. More questions? <laughs> Yo, what is going on, Zerman? Going on, Flame Angel. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the raid. How you been? Yeah, Zoraman, I was trying to go to your I saw that you started streaming last night and I was literally about to pull you up and host you and then you weren't live anymore and I was like, oh, I guess he did a short one, but yeah. But how is, how is everybody? Thank you for the raid, man. I appreciate it very much. I've been trying to stop by yours, but I just, each time it hasn't been perfect timing, but appreciate it anyways, man. Thank you very much. How was your stream and what were you playing? <laughs> What's going on, ask her? Uh, let me see what other questions I was gonna ask. You mean often? How often? Uh, let's see this one. Can you one. give me an example of an event that Good was day. decided no here before Fates being implemented one day. the yes, outside world? Well, <laughs> take the French Revolution. How is how it was is, decided uh, your right stream? Here, two years before its implementation in France. Concerning the case of the I came in so good though. I never I played that game, invited. but I, I know of but it. As far as the American um, Revolution is I think I actually though, have it from like I can maybe Humble or something. Years Humble Bundle. Implementing it, for example. That's cool. I'm thinking of uh, starting once I finish this game, possibly starting uh, Louis, Sekiro. Let me keep you a moment. <laughs> we'll see, though. Possibly. I would like to let you in on a secret before we begin. Because I'm going to Boy, need your secret. You see, the project I'm going to present concerns the territory of Louisiana in North I think America. I, I think I it's will. Currently I don't know if I'll be able to finish it. I'm going to make the proposition. But I think I'm going to at least start it and try. I'm going to make a proposition. Okay. My idea is to increase the territory of the United States. The first stone of this vast project consists of getting Spain to cede Louisiana to France. Although it's Once super it hard. French, yeah, that's why I'm like, France I don't know. Will hand it over to the but we'll see. States, we'll which see. Which will then allow them to <laughs> double the size of their territory. And that's where you come in. France and the United States, hand in hand. Two democracies illuminating the world. Uh, neither one of them was free. How far does this project go? Where does the project extend? It's basically the same Why question. Why spread it over two phases? Why not announce the overall project immediately? 
Unfortunately, if Spain were to hear that the intention of all this is to allow the United States to grow, I use cheese side. strats Manuel for some of the harder bosses. Aware of President Washington's <laughs> appetite. If the United States took Louisiana, that's understandable though. God, I would know full well that he. I don't know how I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm honestly worried. Things I have no must idea. Take place in several stages. But otherwise, <laughs> the change will be to either I'll be like okay, no or I'll be horrible. The project. Take a look at them. Apart from President Washington, they all belong to monarchies. Do you really think they won't resist? They're a bunch of, of course they very fight. influential Fearful people as they are of losing in this their room. precious privileges. But the world needs visionaries. It's Napoleon like you, and George like Washington. It's a pity Sarah isn't here to see it. She only knew about a tiny part of the project. I hope I can count on you, Louis. It's time to start now. I must ask you to keep it to yourself for the time being. Take a seat. Follow the discussions. We'll have an opportunity to catch up later, and you'll be able to let me know your thoughts. Blast okay. it, You didn't know about everything. This project is commendable. Why tell me to beware? Could you have gotten it wrong? Or maybe she knows something else that he doesn't. My friends, I propose we get started. Oh boy. First of all, I would like to thank you for taking the time to come. The honor is ours, my lord. As per our custom, here we are all together to discuss There's the an open face seat. of tomorrow's world. Even though there may be certain tensions between our nations, I must ask you to keep an open mind. As Sarah de Richet is unable to be among us, please welcome Louis de Richet who will represent the Golden Order and will vote on its behalf when the time comes. Welcome among us, Louis. Welcome, Monsieur. I hope he'll be more effective than his mother regarding the protection of the King of France. The Order has proved particularly inefficient. Come, Manuel, you're not going to spoil our visit. The Order's mission was not to protect King Louis XVI, as far as I am aware. We are talking about the King of Divine Blood, for goodness sake. It seemed obvious to me he needed protecting. If the Golden Order wants to Jeez. pride itself on being an influential organization, it should have kept him alive. Put Kunhei in his place. Thank, Thank you all. Yeah, let's be. I'm uh, honored to be among you today. <laughs> I will strive to represent the interests. Let's be kind of the order so far. As best I can. Perhaps we may begin, Lord Mortimer. Certainly. I have a dream that our nations will continue to support each other more now than ever before. A dream that, for the sake of common good, we will do what it takes to ensure stability in the modern world. I have a dream that we shall lead by example <laughs> and ensure that the American territory may remain in peace. Thank you for the thought, Lord Mortimer, but I don't see where you're leading. I'm coming to it, Mr. President. I need not remind you that North America is currently divided between the United States on the East Coast and Spain, which occupies the remaining two-thirds of the continent. Well, I propose that Spain cede the center of the continent to France, namely all of Louisiana. Louisiana? But, well, it is not for sale. <laughs> Lord Mortimer. I sincerely is that George Washington? It is. Way, just to hear you ramble on about what Spain should and should not do. When we went to all the trouble of gaining the territory a few years ago, it was not just to lose it today. The Louisiana Have I made Purchase. Myself clear? What did I tell you, William? You speak of union, and yet here you are about to tear us apart. Duke Manuel, I perfectly understand you. But rest assured, you will soon adore my proposition. You shall see. Well, since you give me the choice, my good fellow, allow me to doubt it. However, I am impatient to hear what Spain could possibly gain from the sale of Louisiana. I never spoke of a sale, my good fellow. What? I, I do not understand. There is one more territory left to conquer, if I'm not mistaken, in the northwest. 
It is, of course, occupied by your notorious Indians, but... We shall soon be rid of the savages, so that is not the question. Duke, these savages, as you call them, were there before you. They are on their homeland. As much as the black people of Africa, Monsieur de Richet. That does not stop your dear France from massacring them and sending them like cattle to Mr. Washington's cotton plantations to provide him with cheap labor. So you keep your morals to yourself, if you please. Senor, hmm. I would not like to be associated with that. The subject of black slaves in the United States of America is a complex subject, which we shall resolve at a future date. Filthy swine. France will soon be used. No longer uses slavery. Challenge him. It obviously doesn't stop you from sleeping at night. Not in the least. Do not what? imagine I have ah, anything shoot. against the American Indian. Wait, do we already know that? Walner? No, not Walmart. Uh, what's his name? Who's that guy? The gate? No. Good day. Oh, good day. Manual. There it is. Oh, etiquette. He's immune to it. That is not the question. But business is business. It is the natural order of things, Monsieur de Richet. There have always been men who govern other men. That is simply the way it is. Man, it might as well be the likes of you who rule. Is that right? But of course. Come now, my friends. Let us not digress. Anyway, these primitive people have no souls, Louis. We bring the good word to them in order to save them. You'll see. Colonization <laughs> brings with it many These benefits. These people have too. no souls. Uh, excuse oh my me. God. If you don't mind, your evidence, uh, I shall. The sad continue. thing is, they actually thought Duke like Manuel, that back then. I believe that Spain should cede Louisiana to France free of charge. This is utterly grotesque, Lord Mortimer. What a strange example you set for your young protege. Isn't that so, Monsieur de Richet? Do you understand anything of this proposition? It's uh Let's uh do this. Okay, so he's immune to that. Say nothing, shoot. I can't use this one. Take that. Okay, yeah, I can now. If I were you, Senor Godoy, I would think twice before stirring up a scandal. I beg your pardon. So now, what Given exactly are you trying to do colonies, in this game? You won't um, be able to keep them for long. A number of countries are eyeing them as we speak. The United so, States would have no trouble taking them. For all intents sec. and purposes, you have to no finish. army in place. By wanting to keep everything, you risk losing it all, especially your colonies in South America which are far more valuable to you. That is indeed the danger, Duke Manuel. If it comes to war over Louisiana, you will lose, and probably a good deal more than you now imagine. Young man, you are indeed a dark horse, aren't you? I must say, William, I find your project mostly disfavors me. I thought you were my friend. And I am, Mr. President. <laughs> that is why I'm doing everything in my power to calm your expansionist fervor. France, in Louisiana, should persuade you not to attempt anything to take their territory by force. Louisiana is a vast wetland where you would needlessly lose most of your troops. It would weaken you and offer certain nations the perfect opportunity to take back your famous United States. I am protecting you from yourself, George. Trust me. I understand. But with friends like you, sir, I certainly don't need any more enemies. I hope you know what you're doing. Holiday. Okay, Am politics. I things or nice. Does it look like Washington isn't aware of Mortimer's plan? Not to put too fine a point on it, Lord Mortimer, so, uh, but I doubt the similar Holy to like Sea Telltale games and things like that. Um, there's different choices. Handed over to secular revolutionaries and kings. Basically, we came to the island to Monsieur find our mother no first, on this subject, does he not? but she's like a big part of this order thing. These are all like essential people of the time 
um, where they all come here to communicate and figure out what each place is going to do to try to like keep peace in a way. But uh, there's a lot more to it. There's a lot of art and history and like other cool things in it. It's it's kind of a little bit of a slow game here and there, but like it's still interesting because of the different like options. Like these are all there's skills, there's books. Um, here's everybody that's been here with us. So you have a lot of like historic people. Um, this office, the guy in the center, uh, Mortimer, which is where is he? One more, this guy, the guy with the beard and everything. He's like the, the leader of this place. And he just brings everybody like gathers everyone here. Um, now his mother, not, not more Mortimer's, but like the character we're playing as, uh, Louie, this is his mother. And there's something going on with her that she's not really saying. And it sounds like she's afraid of him and that he might have some like secret uh plan that nobody is really aware of yet uh what's his i manipulation is his vulnerability france will protect does not need to seek the pope's opinion On the maps of Italy I saw in Mortimer's secret study, he had anticipated movements of troops across Italy. I wouldn't be surprised if he's planning an invasion of Italy by France, and if I push the notion a bit further, I can well imagine that Bonaparte's cannons, financed by the Order, will be used for that purpose. The noose is tightening around poor Piaggi's neck without him even realizing it. I don't know if I'm the best person to speak about that, Your Eminence. Italy could be invaded. Claim not to know. No, it's... Well, I think that the French army will enter Italy, and that the Vatican will do whatever France demands of it, if the Vatican wants to retain its place. You are joking, I hope. Lord Mortimer, I did not come here to listen to such nonsense. What makes you think that, Monsieur de Richet? Well, Monsieur Bonaparte, here present, has ordered a large number of cannons, and I wouldn't be surprised if they were to be used to keep Italy under control. Come, sir. What a strange idea. I have enough on my plate with issues in Corsica. If you say so. You see, you're... But Corsica is not where the cannons are to be delivered, is it? Aye, but... Ah, Louis, you are quick-witted. I like you. You seem to be mm -hmm. overlooking something, Monsieur les Français. I also have backers, who would be only too pleased to demonstrate the full extent of their fervor by defending the Vatican. Mi auguro che insegnerete l'educazione a questo giovanotto presuntuoso, Sir Gregory. What do you say? I hope that you will teach this pretentious young man some manners, Sir Gregory. It looks like I won't be just making friends here. In any case, my lord, I doubt the English crown will agree. Ich will sicherer than Emily. Nie Preußen wird diese Verbarung akzeptieren. What did he say? I assure you, Emily, the Prussian will never accept this agreement. Volner looks like he's set on ruining Mortimer's plan. Duchess, I am persuaded that we shall find a common ground. That's enough, William. These are great times. We don't care about the fate of Louisiana. That worthless expanse of putrid swamps interests no one but yourself. Speak for yourself, my friend. Hold on mm -hmm. there, Mr. Royal Gigolo. Lower the volume and let Sir Gregory finish. Home, Godoy, and now Volner? Mortimer's adversaries are ready to tear each other to pieces, and he takes a malicious pleasure in watching it happen. How dare Gentlemen, you! Gentlemen, let us try to remain calm. There you are, William. See where your projects have taken us, as per usual. Chaos! 
That's people enough. have the I'm worst tired. tempers ever. We shall continue this discussion tomorrow, but please be aware that your project will never be ratified. Those who are opposed to this project, follow me. It's pretty intriguing. I really appreciate the historical context. Dude, there is so much more to it, too. Are you coming with us, Monsieur de Richer? Come, Gregory. I think Louis would rather stay. Wouldn't you, Louis? Which one is George Washington doing? Stay to assist him. Leave to assist home. I think I'm gonna leave to assist home. At the risk of displeasing you, my lord, I'd rather follow Sir Gregory. I don't think this is a place for the order. Louis? No. Let him go, Mr. President. Everyone is free to choose. I feel like something we can find out more information from these guys. How can he be so blind? If he keeps this up, he'll lead our countries to their destruction. Don't worry, we shall counter him, Sir Gregory. We have to act immediately. Calm down, Gregory. We only have to vote against his project, and that's it. They haven't got a chance. Just one vote will suffice. True. There is no chance of a unanimous vote. And he knows it. He must be preparing something else. What is he plotting? I know about his plan. What did you just say, Louis? His aim is for the United States to take the whole of the North American continent. But that is impossible! A democratic <laughs> superpower. I don't understand. It's almost that as has if nothing that to happened. do with the coming vote. You will ask for France <laughs> to take over Louisiana and then hand it over to the United States. And so double the size of their territory. Once that's done, he will just need to push a bit more, and you will lose North America, Duke Manuel. God's blood! <laughs> has he gone mad? No, Johan. He has always been mad. <sighs> Louis. I feel like there's I would more like to, to thank it, you though. for what you've just revealed. If not for you, I don't know if we'd have been capable of deciphering his plans quickly enough to be able to counter him. What are we going to do now that we know about it? Destroy him. No! Destroy we'll him. beat him at his own game, my friends. What? His plan begins with Louisiana, which is still I don't know yours. if I should be helping them, honestly. We'll begin with you. Expect to receive an envoy, French most probably. He will try to convince you by every possible means. Whatever he says, whatever he promises, you have just one response. It's war. If war is what you want, War is what you'll get, and on your own territory, in your homes. Enough games. Spain will join the coalition against yeah, France. Yeah, the, they're kind of turn. Yeah, I'm agreeing you with too, that. Duchess Hillsborough. You will speak to the Queen, but, so the Great Britain more and more, to he's go definitely into hiding with something. What do you expect from the Papal States, Sir Gregory? What do you think? That they hold a mass? They will go to war, of course. What is it that you didn't understand in what I just told you? We all declare war on France. Militarily, politically, and financially. And me, about Sir me. Gregory? How can I help? Louis, you have won my trust. The Order will have to act in France. But even before that, I'm going to need you. Right here and right now. Leave me now. I have to prepare for tomorrow. Let's meet early tomorrow morning for the next phase of the conference, which promises to be most exciting. Uh, Louis? I'd like to see you a moment, please. Hey. Thank you for signing with me today. I won't forget it. I'm going to need you. Help me counter Mortimer on his own ground. Right here. I'm sure he'll try and win some of you over. He needs our votes. Now, you leave that to me. In the meantime, I must ask you to go and see President Washington and persuade him to trust me hmm. and join us. Am I really a right person Do you really think that I'll be able to convince him? I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but I have total faith in you. He likes you, and thus he won't see you coming. You must be careful, though. If he senses that you are trying to manipulate That's the thing. I'm trying to... Dig in his heels. I'm trying to stay Louis, on the good side use every means of discussion. George Washington, if Washington drops and Mortimer, the woman, defeat the Duchess. Complete. You should go right away. There's no time to lose. 
William already has a head start on us. Very well. I'll go right away. Okay. Because because George Washington has been very helpful the entire time, and the Duchess has been as well. Like, we know more and more the guy that's holding this whole conference is definitely hiding something because we found Louis's mother, like, literally right before the conference. And she is like stay away from him and so is the even the guy that's like the meanest person that we met Duchess while staying here he even said stay away from him it's Fudori. too late for me so even he is like iffy about it so it's kind of like mm, huh, that's me something is definitely up with all this Exactly what? Oh wait, I always forget that you can just check this. Okay, George Washington's room is coming up. Right about on the left. Should be that door. President George Washington. But yeah, there was uh there was a room. There's a lot of art like in this game. Like, actually, a lot. He has an entire room downstairs that's just a bunch of, like, uh, like, historic. There's a library. Portrait gallery has, like, a ton of pretty cool stuff. Um, there was one secret room that's, like, right here, technically. But we, we got to it in one part of the quest, and it has, like, all ancient, like, items from different time periods and different places and stuff. It's pretty cool. Wait, so is George Washington not in his room? I'm guessing. Yeah, there's there's a lot of history to this. Louis? But what are you doing in my room? I was coming to talk to you. Flatter him? Tell him you got the wrong room. Be direct. Uh, what's his... There might be a... Be discovered. Damn. I think he likes... Etiquette? I, I wanted to have a word with you, but just between ourselves. Here, the walls have ears. You're right. Caution is the mother of safety. Well, since you're here, <laughs> can I get you something to drink? Nice. No, no thank you, Mr. President. As you wish. Well, Louis, it's getting late, and this is not my first conference, so let's get straight to the point. Very well. You are here to motivate me to change sides. I have decided not to follow Mortimer. I noticed. Every man must make his own choice, what can we say? That's the political game. And you did not commit to supporting Mortimer, so there's nothing for you to feel bad about. So what can I do for you? You are a laughing stock. Lies speak about more and more. President supply. Washington, I regret that my situation is contrary to yours, especially as I really do respect you. Me too, Louis. Let us not mix business and emotion. Understood. I've just come from a meeting with Sir Gregory and his supporters. They are all rallying against Mortimer's project. That is to be expected. Great Britain, the Kingdom of Spain and Sicily, the Kingdom of Prussia, the Holy Empire, the Kingdom of Portugal, of Bohemia, and of Hungary. I know, Louis. I know. The coalition against France also gives me cause for concern. I'm certainly not saying that, on paper, Mortimer's plan seems very viable. Anyway, you haven't really said what you wanted to say. Tell me, Louis, what have you come here to sell me? You should join home. And why would I do that? Shake his faith in Mortimer. Out of the duty to my mother, you owe me one because you're already allied to Emily against France. This type of meeting might be familiar to you, but for me, I must admit, Mr. President, it's all a bit over my head. It's only natural, Louis. But you are managing rather well for a first-timer. You've chosen the wrong allies, that's all. I hope my mother doesn't hold it against me if I made a mistake. Anyway, if Lord Mortimer does succeed, 
it would be no mean feat. Did he tell you what he would gain from it? What do you mean? Well, Mortimer's plan has been meticulously prepared for many years, I imagine. Of that you can be sure. It's only natural, and his plan leaves nothing to chance. No, that's what... He never commits his own fortune. Let alone his reputation, since you're the one who takes center stage here. In fact... Whether he wins or loses, <laughs> everything is arranged so that he comes out of it in It's trying to say so. Yes, I... Ah, you've got to hand it to him, though. He's a master at putting together a plan which puts himself at no risk. That's true. Don't worry, he... you can trust him. Of course. All buddies invested in a river transport company on the Mississippi or somewhere like that. It's true I had never thought about what he might have to gain. Tell me what Sir Gregory has to offer that I don't already have with Lord Mortimer. Oh man, okay. None here, shoot. Promise him Louisiana to peace. His best inference, shoot. I could fail this easily. Get rid of the negative effects. Damn. We don't have enough points to do that either. We'll be able be able to win colonies, a small fortune, promise him Louise and Anna to keep what you already have. Let's what would say. you say to winning a few colonies? I'm sure that Sir Gregory would be prepared to discuss the acquisition of new territories. No thanks, Louis. I am not interested. Yeah. No. Colonies bring with uh. them their own thorny problems and thus I prefer to focus on the consolidation of American territory. Okay, shoot, last chance. I want to convince him. But you already have peace. I feel like either one of these is probably a good option. Mr. President, it seems that Lord Mortimer would rather see Louisiana become French and not American. Sir Gregory proposes that Louisiana go to you. What? You would be prepared to hand it over to me? It is certainly a possibility. But for that, you must not side with Mortimer at the conference. I see. Louis, yes. you convinced me. I congratulate you for hey. your performance, because I didn't think it <laughs> would happen. I merely exposed the facts to you. Don't spoil everything with your false modesty now. I gotta dip out of here really for a bit, brother, but I'm good. still lurking. Be back That's in a few. That. Hey, no problems, Armin. In any case, I appreciate you. I shall follow you on this one. This may well arouse Lord Mortimer's wrath, but I must put the United States before anything else. Have we finished, Louis? Absolutely, yes. Mr. Yep. President. I shan't keep you any longer. Allow me to take my leave. Good night, Louis. Get some rest. Tomorrow will be a very big day. Well, that's one thing out of the way. The only thing left to do is wait for the conference to resume tomorrow morning. Awesome. That actually went very well. Sweet. And our room's up here. Let's hit the sack. Should be this. Wait, is this our? Monseigneur, his oh, no. card. Oh, oh whoops. Geez. Here it is. <laughs> oh. Good evening, Monsieur le Francais. Duchess, you're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? <laughs> not at all. That's not what I said. Ah, by the way, congratulations on choosing Sir Gregory this evening. You surprised me. I wasn't expecting it. Why, Emily, can't you read me like an open book? Not as well as you read me, it I'll would teach seem. you if you'd like. There's nothing I'd like more. Tell me. Are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. 
My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? Speak about Emma. Tell her Sarah's I've seen her, Emily. What? When was that? A little earlier, just before the conference. She was hiding. And did you manage to speak to her? She's not the same. I, I don't know what's been happening to her, but she's changed. I found her in a deplorable state with, with one of her hands cut off. I mean, she was saying crazy things, bordering on delirium. What? Did you say one of her hands was cut off? What happened to her? I don't know. She, she wouldn't say. And did she tell you why she... Why... Why she shot Emma? No. Unfortunately, we were unable to broach the subject. She seemed terribly upset, Emily. There's something strange going on here. She was fearful of something or someone. Excuse me, Louis, but until we see proof of the contrary, she's the one who is sowing death everywhere she goes. We are the ones who ought to be fearful. I know. I know. No, I apologize for that remark. Who do you think she's hiding from? Mortimer? I don't know. Maybe. I think Louis, she is. I don't want to pile it on, but I would understand her feelings there. You ought to be wary of Mortimer. He's a manipulator, a liar, a coward who doesn't assume his responsibilities at all. What exactly happened between you two, Emily? You're so radically against him. Can we change subject, please? Oh, come on. I didn't come here to Just go tell me. That again. Of course, it's late. You're right. Oh. That's that doesn't look very pleasant. What? <laughs> Come, Louis. <laughs> oh God. Interesting. Uh, another vision. My friends, do not worry. I assure you that Lord Mortimer's plan will never see the light of day. I shall deal with informing our allies, but for the time being, I need you to make a stand. What do you think about Monsieur de Richet? I don't know yet. I feel there's great potential in him. He looks like he can be trusted. Why isn't he with us? He was opposed to Mortimer. I'll wait and see. I'm still not sure of his position. And uh, Duchess Hillsborough. Oh, why isn't she here? She's busy. Don't worry about her. Oh, isn't it time to replace her? Not so fast, sir. She is an important figure. You ought to have a little more faith in her. What are we going to do about Washington? He will be a hard nut to crack. On our chessboard, he is Mortimer's king. Don't worry. Mr. President only wants one thing. To keep his dear America united. He won't jeopardize everything he has achieved on a whim. He has been serving Mortimer for quite some time. It won't be easy to uh, bring him around. I have asked Monsieur de Richet to approach him. Let us have faith in him. I sense that Mr. Peru is about to surprise us too. Yet he is Mortimer's strong arm in France. He knows his time has come, and I believe he's intelligent enough to realize it means he is no longer any use to Mortimer. Do you feel all right, Mr. Godoy? You haven't said a word. Please, excuse me, gentlemen. I feel tired. Oh, I see. I think it is high time you left us then. Now! Oh boy. E Emily? Emily? Are you there? She left. Sir, the conference is about to begin. You are expected in the conference room. Tell them I'm coming. Thank you. Come on, Louis. The game is back on.
My friends, the conference is about to begin. All right, um, I'm gonna grab some water real quick and just uh, have a quick snack and then we'll continue this. So I will be right back in about like three or four minutes, nothing too long, and then go from there. So BRB. <laughs> 